What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Glass Garage, where we make detail and simple. My name is Sock, and today I have something special for you guys. So first off, here we have a 2023 Lexus RX 350. It is brand new from the dealership, and the owner literally only had it for less than a day and brought it straight to us to ceramic coat it. And also, my wife is cleaning the wheels and tires using Extra Tough Wheel and Tire Cleaner to clean up the wheels and tires. And we also do have a special guest, which is Stephen V. He's going to learn how to polish using the 25 millimeter da from diy detail and this is going to show that a brand new vehicle doesn't mean it's completely brand new the dealership did do their own detail right before handing over the vehicle so you do see some water beading and we're going to make sure we remove that protection and we're going to prep it from start to finish and also it does have some iron contamination probably it's been sitting in a lot for a while or got some rail dust during transportation but it has some iron particles in there and we use the diy detail their, their whole system to prep the entire vehicle besides the wheels and tires but for the rest of the paint we use their water spot remover iron remover their clay towel everything just to prep everything and the last but not least the only difference is we did use ethos graphene v2 ceramic coating to coat this vehicle which you will see at the end of the video but all in all enjoy the rest of this walk around and i will show you that even a brand new vehicle still needs to slightly be decontaminated once we're done with the decontamination step we're up to the polishing step which you've all been waiting for and here are my quick thoughts on the diy detail 25 millimeter da on some things that i forgot to mention at the outro of the video but here is my wife showing stephen v on how to hold the polisher pretty much just showing her to keep, keep it flat she's using it on speed setting three and that's it just quick easy and she's going to show him on some curves and stephen v was using this off screen as well just to use it and he really enjoyed this polisher now let's talk about the pros and cons real quick or just my overall thoughts on this polisher in itself yes it is slightly heavier than most da's out there on the market just a little bit more just because it has a heavier counterweight but it also balances out in the weight in itself just because it just feels better now in terms of smoothness or vibration yes you're going to get a little bit more vibration is it crazy vibration like the shine made or the max shine no it is not crazy vibration and also is it slightly smoother when i mean smoother i know i said it's smoother than a rupez but what i meant about smoothness is not necessarily like the vibration per se but it was more of the smoothness on how it glides on the paint and i am just using one hand as you see there easy to maneuver easy to use and it was just a fantastic polisher to use very easy to use and i will speak about this more on the outro but all in all just a great polisher and you will see a quick clip on myself using this on the side door and speak more about it you, you're gonna hear that it's not crazy loud i have the microphone on my chest and let's talk about that all right everyone so i've been using this for a couple of panels already and this is the first vehicle we've done my wife used it uh steven has used it and we are liking it so far literally speed three four it's max power compared to the spta that we use it's much quieter for sure now the only thing that's different between this one and the spta cordless one that i've used and any other polishers is this is a little bit heavier than the other ones but it runs smoother and less pitch of a noise but i'm going to show you real quick on this section what we're going to do is quick three section passes just one spray and a quick thing to note as well is this doesn't have like a variable variable speed trigger meaning that it doesn't soft start. Like if you're on speed one, it starts automatically whatever the RPM is on speed one. If you start on speed four, automatically right away. It doesn't really like ramp up. So we're gonna put this on speed setting three. We're gonna do half this door and look how much easier and quicker this is. And it's definitely much quicker than my 15 millimeter throw. We're gonna do three section passes and it's actually nice and smooth. It's not as loud pitch. 
Look how much power it has on speed setting three. Crazy. Will some areas stall? Absolutely, if it's on a crazy curve. But it still spins. It's not like a complete stall like other polishers. This is a 25 millimeter throw. And all I'm doing is just guiding the machine. My wife already polished this top half, so nothing really much is needed. Second pass, third pass, this is a brand new vehicle. It has some dealer, wa uh, dealer marks on it, but nothing too crazy. Quick three section passes, and the car is ready to pretty much swirl free. And quick and easy. So I'm gonna do this other section as well. I haven't used the rotary yet, but that's because this one had a little bit deeper, deeper defects that I wanted to really remove and make sure we removed. We're not spending a lot of time. The 25 millimeter throw is going to cut quick for you, has enough power, this gold standard uh, polish, or uh, I forgot what we call this, polisher, but the DA is crazy powerful. And also this vehicle had its own uh, protection that the dealership put on, the cheap wax and sealant, so we're definitely removing that easily with the DA. So pretty much you're cutting everything in half. I have the cord up over here as you see. We did three quick session passes. I'm going to get the door handle as such. My wife already did this but I'm just showing you that you can easily still get into small areas. It's not going to stall. Look, small areas. You can hit any part of the vehicle. And that's it. It's not crazy loud. It's, it's a pleasant to work with. All right, everyone. So let's talk about my final thoughts on the DIY detail new DA, their 25 millimeter throw DA. And first off, we did polish the entire vehicle and prep the entire vehicle using the DIY detail product line. The only thing that we did after the polishing step that was different was we used Ethos Detox panel prep and ceramic coated it with Ethos Matrix V2 graphene ceramic coating. But this is how the vehicle looks. Very nice, very glossy, just looks amazing. Now, let's talk about the cream of the crop of this video. So first off, we're gonna talk about, you know, the likes and dislikes of this polisher. And this is coming from a collective of three different people. One is a brand new polisher. His name is Steven V. You guys probably seen him in the comments. He came over, used this as well. My wife and myself. So my wife did about six panels with this. Steven V did about three to four, and then I used it on the rest of the vehicle. So, we're gonna talk about those and come with a collective agreement of what we used. So first off, let's talk about the pros. Pros, it is, it is very nice, it is smooth. It is a 25 millimeter throw DA. So what's gonna happen is you are, um, we'll get a little bit more vibration, but it's still smooth. It's a lot smoother than the Milwaukee 21 that I've used. The Shine Mate is a vibrator 21. Uh, you know, and the Rupes 21 corded DA. Definitely a lot smoother than those for sure. And the good thing, it doesn't stall like the Rupes. That's number one. Milwaukee, it doesn't stall, but the problem is it has such a high pitched noise 
this is not as loud and you will and you saw the the video on the previous one that we did before i was talking to you guys even on speed setting three the mic is right here and i'm polishing the panel it's very nice you don't have to yell it is quiet it doesn't have a high pitch noise and the other thing is very intuitive so like the trigger is literally the trigger lock is right there that's great now the other thing is this is a blessing and a curse so this is heavier than most other da's on the market but the balance is there it's it's so easy to control it's very nice you can still use one hand if you like and you're cutting a lot quicker it's 25 millimeters and the other things b setting three and four is literally all you need for this it's very powerful such a powerful machine and it's in itself so that's it and the build quality is very nice it's a, you could feel that it's made with quality although i know they said they made it in china but it's literally a very nice build now let's talk about the cons and i'm gonna get rid of one of the cons because it's not really like a like a con so one is there is no variable speed trigger and what do i mean about that is if you're on speed setting one like you saw early in the video if you press it you're going to start on speed setting one and you can't put it on speed setting six and feather it like a rupes and like half the trigger there and then spread the polish and then start polishing you're not going to get that that's number one um but for myself and my wife we don't really care for that so it, i will put that more in the middle category it's not a pro it's not a con it's just more of like user preference at that point the other con is, like I said, it's a blessing and a curse. For this, is slight is definitely heavier than other DAs I've used on the market. And my wife, the first thing, she is a woman, and she did say the same thing. After six, seven panels, she could do a whole car with this, but for her to do two vehicles in one day, it'll be taxing for her. Um, but over time, she did say, well, since we're used to lighter polishers, what's gonna happen is, you will eventually get used to this. It's not crazy heavy like a rotary, like the old school, but Again, I'm, I'm managing this easy with one hand. So that's number one. Um, but other than that, that's all I got really from the only two like cons in a sense. And the last thing is, um, I, I don't want to say vibration because it is still smooth on the panel. But remember, you do have a 25 millimeter throw. So the longer the throw, the slightly more vibration you're gonna get because the throw is coming back and forth, is 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 oscillating and um, rotating. So what's gonna happen is the longer the throw, you will get slightly more vibration, but that comes with it. Um, that's it really. It is smoother than, like I said earlier, the pros, the other polishes that I've used, and it's still smoother than the 21 millimeter Milwaukee Shine Mate and uh, Rupes that I've used. But that's all I got really. Um, Nothing much to say about it. It's very nicely built. The counterweight is amazing. It's, it's super hard to stall this. Uh, of course, if you're going on a crazy concave, you will stall it. But that's all I really got. I haven't used the rotary yet. I'm not going to talk about the rotary at all yet. And yeah, so it's a it's a very good polisher. I have no, like that's that's literally it. It's a it's a very nice built polisher. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this type of content. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, and one, one, one more thing. Ooh, this is another pro. It comes with a five inch backing plate as well if you want to change it. And it comes with screws and extra brushes, which if you order other polishers, say the Rupes, you got to order the uh, five inch backing plate to put it on. If you want to make it 21 millimeter, you gotta buy the five inch um, backing plate. Or if you get a Griot's, it only comes with a six inch backing plate and you're gonna have to swap and buy the five inch backing plate or vice versa. So that's it, that's all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. You guys can use code DMS at checkout to purchase this, get 10% off or any DIY products. But other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.